Hey everyone, Miss Atkinson here. I have had a request or two to review how to balance half reactions. So I figured I'd work it out here. I'm gonna hold the phone with my left hand and write with my right, so bear with me here. All right, so here was our half reaction and my very first step, I've done that so far, is to split the, sorry, the full reaction into two half reactions. So once we have that done, we are going to, as a reminder, balance all elements but hydrogen and oxygen. So this reaction here, all it's got is hydrogen and oxygen. So we're done with that one, check. All right, this guy. We've got two chromiums on this side and we have one chromium on this side. So to balance this, we'll go ahead and rewrite it to keep it organized. We need to put a coefficient of two here, two Cr3 plus. That way we have two chromiums here and two chromiums on the product side. All right, our next step now is to balance oxygen by adding water. This one's done again because it's two oxygens here, two oxygens here, balanced. But on your chromium half reaction, you have seven oxygens on this side and none on the product side. So we are going to add plus seven H2O's to balance that. So we added seven waters, so we have seven waters here, or seven oxygens, and seven oxygens there. All right, next step. Balance the hydrogens by adding hydrogen ions. So now we get to do something over here. We've got two hydrogens on the reactant side, so we need to add two hydrogen ions on the product side to balance. Here we have 14 because we've got seven times two hydrogens. So we will need to add 14 hydrogen ions on the reactant side to balance. All right, hydrogens are done. Next step, and this is where most of us are having our trouble, is balancing electrons. So let's do this slowly. So over here I have a net charge of zero. There's no charges on this side. Over here I have a charge of two plus. All I can do is add electrons or subtract. So if I have zero on this side and two pluses, if I add two electrons on the product side, two plus and two minus will equal zero, which is what I need. So let's write that out. Got H2O2, I'm sorry, this should be an arrow, produces O2 plus QH plus. So now I want to get this to zero, so I'm gonna add two electrons. So let's take a look at this here now. So this is a minus sign. So two plus, two minus equals zero, and this side is an overall charge of zero. All right, let's take a look at the other one. 14 pluses, or 14 plus and two minus, that gives us an overall of 12. See, 14 plus and then two minus, that's an overall of 12. And we've got to take this coefficient into account. So two times three pluses, that's six pluses. So I've got an overall of 12 plus here and an overall of six plus on this side. To get them to balance or to equal each other, they don't have to equal zero, they just have to equal each other. We, well, this is 12 plus and this is six plus, so let's subtract six over on this side by adding six electrons. So we'll rewrite it so we can take a look. I'm gonna write it underneath here. So 14 H plus plus Cr2O7 two minus gives me two Cr3 plus plus seven H2O. All right, so again, 14 pluses, gotta distribute the 14, so 14 plus minus two is plus 12. Two times three is plus six, so if I add six electrons on this side, check it out. 14 minus two is 12, minus six is six, and two times three is six. They're even, yay for us. All right, so this one's done as well. Now our next step is we want to actually get the electrons to cancel so we can put the reactions back together. So I need to have the same number of electrons in each half reaction because it's time to combine them. So I've got six electrons here and two here. I need to have six in both of them. So what coefficient could I multiply this one by? 
You said three because you're so smart, so you are correct. You need to multiply this whole reaction by a coefficient of three, and then they will match. I'm just gonna write it underneath here. So three, and I need to distribute that three to every part of that half reaction. So it's gonna give me three O2s plus six H pluses, and then that's gonna make six electrons. Now our electrons are balanced. That's our goal. Okay. Once you have your electrons balanced, you're gonna combine the reactions back together. So everything that's on any either of the reactant side will all go on one reactant side, and everything that's on the product side will all go on one product side. So here we go. 6e minus plus 14h pluses plus Cr2O7 two minus, got that reactant side done, let's do this, plus three H2O2, cross that out, produces two Cr3 plus, plus seven H2O, plus three O2, plus six H plus, can I fit it in there, plus six, E minuses, yay. All right, made it. Sorry, I think I was just showing you my tile floor. Now, just like net ionics, we're gonna cancel out everything that we can. I'm gonna switch hands for a second. My hand's falling asleep, I'm a wuss. All right, now I can cancel my electrons. Six electrons here and six electrons here. Those can cancel out because they're on opposite sides of the arrow. Let's see what else can we cancel. What about the H pluses? I have 14 of them here and six here, so I can cancel all six of these. And here, if I can cancel six, I will have eight H pluses or eight hydrogen ions left behind. And you see anything else? There's not, this is not on both sides. The hydrogen peroxide is not on both sides. Yep, that's all we can cancel. So what we've got to do now is rewrite our final answer. What left's left over, or what is left over, excuse me. So we've got eight H plus, plus Cr2O7 two minus, plus three H2O2 produces 2Cr3 plus, plus 7H2O, plus 3O2. All right, that is your final answer. Now, if this isn't in the exact order, like you swapped this with this or this with this, that's no big deal. That's just, I was writing them in the order that I had them. But as long as you have the correct things with the correct coefficients and charges on the correct side of the arrow, you are good to go. So that is your final answer. This is what you would box or choose for your multiple choice answer. Since remember your final is gonna be all multiple choice. Make sure you are taking your time and working it all out. If you noticed, I kind of rewrote some steps so I could stay organized, me on top of it. Again, let's review. So first thing I did was I broke it up into half reactions, balanced the elements besides, besides hydrogen and oxygen. So I added the chromium, the two here. Then I needed to make sure that I balanced the oxygen by adding water. That's what I did here. I balanced the hydrogen by adding hydrogen ions. Then I had to balance my electrons by getting my charges to match on each side. So we added electrons on both sides of our different equations to get that to match. Then we multiplied by a coefficient, so both half reactions would have the same number of electrons. Then we put them all back together, canceled everything we could to come up with our final answer. All right, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, daphne.adkison at southlakecarroll.edu. I wish you all the best of luck in your studying over the next couple days, and I can't wait to see how well you do. Happy studying. Love you guys. Bye.